of American history. Wiped out the indigenous people, oppressed the blacks, did some good stuff around World War II, and now the sun is setting on our empire. <laughs> yeah, I guess we did cover it all. America was basically a castle with a 3,000 mile moat. It's called the Atlantic Ocean. Ding, 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 ding. Marisol is right once again. Go ahead. In 1823, James Monroe declared any intervention by external powers in the politics of the Americas a hostile act. So smart. <laughs> of James Monroe. Mr. Iglesias is the cool teacher. Why can't I be the cool principal? <laughs> That's not a real question. <laughs> Oh, this is sick. 1962 VW bus. Hippie not included. <laughs> you can put it on your dashboard for your summer trip. You know, this is officially the nicest thing I own. God, I hope you're kidding. <laughs> but you deserve it. Thanks for a great year, Mr. Iglesias. Yeah, there she is. Always reading something. Yeah, my obituary. I mean, now you say that to all of us. <laughs> Letter says it's because of attendance. I kind of miss some afternoon classes. Like how many? Like all of them. I work, help my family, but I did the assignments. Oh my God. Are you gonna have Fernandez jumped? <laughs> no, but I like your idea much better. We love him and his hat. <sighs> what about your trip? I'm gonna guess you. <laughs> yes, solar power is expensive, but what price do you put on saving the planet? My grandchildren. <laughs> Great, I'll have my assistant call you to set up an appointment. Yes. Well, when I'm selling solar panels, I've got two grandkids. When I'm signing people up for wrongful death lawsuits, I'm a widow from Detroit. <laughs> and when I work at 7-Eleven, I've got a brother who's a UFC fighter waiting in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> this report on Honest Abe. Yes, on our greatest president, who we honor by putting on our cheapest coin. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, what's the cheapest? Amazing. <laughs> oh my God, that's a killer Principal Madison impression. And that's why, to honor Cesar Chavez and Dolores Huerta, the leaders of the United Farm Workers Movement, I still won't eat grapes. <laughs> si se puede. So promising. Okay. Speaking of dim lights, have you ever considered solar panels? <laughs> Overshare. <laughs> All right, well, I'm out of here. Um, Miss Spencer, see you in the fall. Mr. Iglesias, see you at the drive-thru. <laughs> Disgusting. And yet not at all surprising. Academic decathlon, Mr. Iglesias, that's a rich kid thing. They have tutors. Their tutors have tutors. They live in two-story tutors with two car garages and get this, two parents. <laughs> what? A business card. <laughs> Something you'll probably never have. Something no one under 40 will ever have. <laughs> this is an injustice. It's clearly unconstitutional. Yeah, clear, oh, <laughs> I get it. What is this part of Border Patrol's fall collection? These backpacks will definitely make it easier for them to check our papers. Wait, there's a paper due? <laughs> it's the first day. Are you saying what I think you're saying? You know, as a team. Have got to go. <laughs> Hasta la victoria siempre, Che Guevara. Nice sign, Miss Fuentes. I think it's pretty good for a crappy library printer. By the way, we're out of toner. Che Guevara may look good on a protest sign or a hippie's t-shirt, but as a Cuban-American, I promise you, he was as misguided as you are. Pay no attention to him. He's just mad because he can't rock a beret. <laughs> Pretty much anywhere these brilliant teachers go becomes a classroom. Hey, guys, we're standing strong in hour three at Wilson High on behalf of every student in America. No. Why? What is it? <laughs> Shh, let her go. You should talk in public more often. You're great at it. Dang, Mr. Hernandez, your meanness cured grace with social anxiety. Sorry, Marisol, it's not worth the risk. Don't think less of me. Believe me, I couldn't. A one-person protest 
is just loitering. It's actually... That is all. You won. You did it. What are you talking about? We still have to wear these. So? No, you don't get it. It's not just about a clear backpack, Mr. Iglesias. It's what it represents. Yeah, I know. Presumption of guilt. Do you think kids at rich schools have to wear these? No. Because their school trusts them. Right. And our... No, living your whole life with everyone thinking you're always about to do something wrong takes a toll. Does it matter? <laughs> How long do you think we'll have to be out here before they give in? I don't know. The uh, pipeline protest at Standing Rock lasted 10 months. At least they stopped it, right? Oh, no, it's up and running. <laughs> but don't worry, you and I'll figure out a way to get Carlos to give in on the backpacks. How? Do you have any ideas? No, but I know somebody who could help. A very wise man who never checks his text message. But I wouldn't call this a good protest, Mr. Hayward. It's just the two of us. Well, how do we convince Hernandez that we deserve presumption of innocence? <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> Wait, there were bright ones? <laughs> <laughs> oh, America, you just got owned. Hey, if you have money for hard lemonade, how about you pay me back? He's even more impressive in person. We've only seen him in person. We go to high school with him. In this class, we aren't given our grades. We earn them. My family calls me the wildcat. You know, because I can sleep anywhere and I bathe with very little water. And do you think they're complimenting you? <laughs> Andy was going away to college. Walt, you are not the guy in this class who can make that joke. Yeah, okay, I don't think I'm the only one with a crush. I mean, I, mean, I, don't, I don't have a crush. <laughs> Shut up! Can back off. She's mine. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> well, well, well. You should. I worked hard on it. Really, really, really hard. <laughs> Do I? Do I? <laughs> Do I? <laughs> you know what I like more? A level playing field where everyone is treated equal. Yeah, we kind of like the new whatever works for us schedule. I'm thinking next Friday would be good for me. Huh! Where, oh where, could they have gotten that idea? Haven't they though? <laughs> Haven't they? Not Marisol. <laughs> Look, Rakim, if you let me help you, we could have your midterm done today like it was supposed to be. What? No, no. No, I'm, I'm looking to be the founder of the Restore Mr. Iglesias Integrity Team. Rakim, that was a nice offer Marisol made you. Why'd you spike it? Look, okay, I'll get to that midterm when I get to it. But Marisol, if you want to throw on a crop top, I just might be able to get you on the spirit squad, shorty. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Iglesias, you don't have what it takes to make an angry face. Anger. Yeah, your mad face would be a lot more effective without those crazy cute dimples. Mr. Iglesias, it's, it's not Lorenzo's fault. He's not here. Well, I'm not one to gossip, but he's been having problems with the tough, scary kid. You no, know, I offered my bodyguarding services. For some reason, he didn't take them. Freaking your funeral, dude. Yeah. Let me guess, a thousand photocopies about saving trees? <laughs> Mr. Iglesias, this list is supposed to help the campus feel more inclusive, but it leaves me out. You can't say Latinos. The correct term is Latinx. <laughs> it's not a joke, Mr. Iglesias. Out of the little handout, that is the correct way to refer to us. Too many cultures have used the masculine to refer to all people that's messed up, which is why the right word is Latinx. But you gotta remember something, Marisol. I'm much older than you, and I've already been through this. And then they changed it. They added a third box and the majority of the Spanish-speaking countries. And it's been that way for decades. A whole new one word. I'm sorry it's such an inconvenience, but we're Latinx now. So everyone who doesn't identify as male feels included. Come on, you can say it. Jinx, lynx, minx. Pharynx, larynx, phalanx. Just think about it. And oh yeah, sphinx. Well, that stinks. It doesn't have an X. It's always a joy to see you, Miss Fuentes. Shall we continue with the pleasantries or go straight to today's complaints? 
Oh, I'm going straight to the complaint. Oh, God. I was reading our new inclusive language guidelines, and it doesn't adequately represent my people. No, Latinx. Latino describes men, and when you use it to describe a group, it leaves out everyone who's not a man. But I'm not in You'll have to take your problems up with Spain. Trust me, I've already left a scathing takedown on Spain's Yelp page. <laughs> you mean my made-up word that will be obsolete before I graduate? Look, Mr. Iglesias, I'm not surprised you didn't get it, but I really thought Principal Madison would understand. So since she didn't go for it, am I kind of off the... Exclusive. Of course, you don't mind gender bias and language, because the bias is in your gender's favor. It's just nice to get a W every once in a while. <laughs> Well, I'm still waiting for mine. I'm inclusive. By the way, I'm still okay with Latina. You and I together, we are Latinx. So, me? Mr. Iglesias? Yeah. I can explain. Um, none of us want to do it. <laughs> I don't need an audience to be humiliated. <laughs> humiliated. Look, Mr. Iglesias, it's really easy to believe in ourselves in here. Dad, you make us feel safe like a, like a baby kangaroo in your pouch. I will. And I don't even have a talent. Wait, so now we have to perform. Yeah. Well, I'm going to juggle three jobs while doing my schoolwork. I guess I could do a spoken word about the state of the nation. <laughs> so let's talk about the F word. Female. I did, I did not see that coming. It was awesome. My parents still love each other, and I didn't get the acorn thing, but you made me laugh anyway. We lost to the janitor. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> but they do get all the school-issued iPads. Lorenzo this is just saying he's taught us a lot this semester. Mikey used a mnemonic device Mr. Iglesias gave him to remember an Yeah, because you wouldn't walk out on us right before the academic decathlon. And you bought it? This is like when we let Facebook collect our personal data and trust that they wouldn't sell it to the highest bidder. Russia! Huh. Turns out he would abandon us right before the academic decathlon. You know what they found with stop and frisk in New York? Marijuana cigarettes? No, they found that if you treat people like criminals, they become criminals. I miss Mr. Iglesias. I'm on it. Um, I miss Mads, um... A student just texted me there's a riot in Miss Lopez's Spanish class. You know, this reminds me of when I see you at the drive-thru. Okay, quick. You hit me with the mnemonic devices and I'll pass them on to the class. Main reason, main. Got it. Yeah. Hey. Um, are you sure this is okay? Between us, no, but if anyone asks, yes. This is like the magic school bus. <laughs> We're two Nicks, Miss Frizzle. <laughs> And can I visit whatever colleges Whitney isn't visiting? <laughs> Long Beach State. I don't even need a tour. I drive by it on the way home from two of my three jobs. Long Beach State sounds good to me. But even I know Long Beach, not a state. <laughs> Pretty funny. I'm gonna be the first person in my family to go to college at all. So, Long Beach State is a huge win for me. <laughs> and how did that talk go? Hey, you ever been in a fight before? Did she tease you for not being married and not having kids? Yep, you definitely had the right number. <laughs> Hells yeah! You taught us everything about the history of our nation. How about the Musketeers? All we need is Mikey to overcome his nerves, Lorenzo not to get the yips, and Walt to put his vape pen down. <laughs> okay, it's a long shot. You don't think being on a team with Mikey is a challenge? Whoa. Does this mean we're not gonna be besties? <laughs> Sandra Day O'Connor, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Sonia Sotomayor, and Elena Kagan. <laughs> <laughs>